Good morning. Uh, we're here at my nursery in Visitation Valley, and we just wanted to show you some of the controls for heating and cooling a greenhouse and, and how they operate and how you can adjust them to keep the greenhouse cool or warm or whether it's a hot greenhouse or a cooler greenhouse you can control it quite easily with uh, with thermostats my nursery is your bare basic minimum I would say old-time uh, control system there's no computers which you would find in a new greenhouse so it's it's uh, the good part is very simple easy to understand and quite often uh, easy to fix and you don't have some of the problems in a more complicated system uh, but these are you can see there's a series of thermostats here this is for the overhead ventilation and then we have individual thermostats for circulation or uh, horizontal air flow fans in the back this thermostat controls the louvers that open and close to bring in fresh air in the rear of the greenhouse and then on the other side we have the thermostat for the heater so everything's in the center of the greenhouse um, you want to locate your controls in the center of the greenhouse so that it's um, you get a representative temperature within the greenhouse if you put it on one side or towards the back that really doesn't tell you how the rest of the greenhouse the temperature uh, what the temperature is or can be at different times during the day so in in the center you get a good representation of what the temperature is as the temperature rises the thermostat kicks on and the horizontal airflow fans in the back come on uh, mine come on roughly at 65 to 70 degrees um, I don't keep them on 24 7 because what you when the heater comes on in the evening you're trying to heat the nursery heat the greenhouse and if the fans are on at the same time they in turn will cool it down so you you have competing factions going you have fans cooling and then you're trying to heat and so you end up spending more money heating the greenhouse the next stage as to the temperature rises to say 75 or so the uh, the back louvered vents will begin to open and that introduces fresh air so the, the horizontal airflow fans pull in the fresh air and on a moderate day maintains the temperature and uh, keeps it at the desired temperature that you want say 80 in this greenhouse it would be 80 degrees um, but on a real hot day you're going to need some mechanism to release that hot air and that's when we would turn on the thermostat and kick on and, and the overhead vents would open and the hot air escapes out the, the vents on top Tom, it's so cold in here. You think you could turn on the heater? Oh, sure, Thomas. Here we have a Modine gas unit heater, and you can see it's suspended from uh, the ceiling, supported by these posts, and uh, it's very important to have enough clearance so that the heater is not close to the roofing material to prevent any sort of fire. But uh, basically, it's like your home furnace. The uh, thermostat will turn on, and gas will ignite. This is what's called the heat exchanger. The gas ignites and so you have flames circulating through these pipes. They get hot and then the blower in the rear of the unit kicks on and blows air over these pipes and the hot air blows down the length of the greenhouse. A unit like this costs about $1,500 plus installation. Um, and depending on the size of the greenhouse that would determine the size of the the heating unit so this is the uh, the natural gas heater so the gas line comes in goes in the rear of the unit um, and is inside the the unit are the the control valves that um, basically the thermostat
kicks on, tells the heater to open the gas valve. There's an electronic ignition that will spark the gas and start the flame. And then the propeller unit will come on later and, and blow the, the air over the coils and heating the greenhouse. This unit is 80% efficient, so 80% of the gas is used to heat the greenhouse and unfortunately 20% goes out the exhaust or the flue. So the, the byproducts of combustion go out the exhaust and out the, out the rear of the greenhouse not, and not in the greenhouse because uh, the uh, carbon monoxide that is produced of the burning of the gas is quite often harmful to the plants uh, mainly to flowers but very sensitive plants you will see it on the foliage it'll it'll burn the foliage so all right Tom let's turn on the heater that's the exhaust fan turning on the little one oh there's that sparking all right the coils of the uh, heat exchanger, and then once those uh, heat up sufficiently, the blower will come on, the blower with the hot pipe, and there it goes. Tom, should be nice and warm in a few minutes. Thank you, thank you. I was beginning to think I was stuck in the Andes or something. <laughs> Well, this greenhouse sure is hot in here. Tom, any chance we could get some fans or ventilation in here? No, oh, sure, Thomas. We're, we're here at City College this morning, and we can uh, turn on the fans and open the vents. And uh, where is Jake and Tom? Oh, I'm not sure. But Jenny's over here. Well, she'll have to do. OK. Let's OK, Thomas, uh, when it starts to get hot in here, the, um, we have a fan with convection tubing here at City College just right above you. The, the blower is here and as I turn it on you can see this tubing inflates. Whoa. And then there's holes punched on the, the lower side which will blow air evenly on each side of the greenhouse and that uh, circulates the air throughout the greenhouse. And behind the blower are louvers that bring in the fresh air. So it's, uh, that's sort of the initial cooling for the greenhouse here in City College. And there's the louvers. Yeah, and those, uh, those are opening to the outside and this big, big propeller blower brings in that fresh air. Nice. And then as it continues to, to warm up, we have this large blower on the floor and we'll open the, the door to bring in more fresh air and this uh, this fan is controlled by a thermostat so at 70 degrees this uh, blower kicks on and you can see it's a really really moves the air bringing in fresh air into this second plug which is control is plugged into this thermostat. So it's a very simple process where you can plug in an electrical appliance, whether a heater or a fan, and control when it comes on and off using a thermostat so that you don't have to manually turn it on. So as the temperature increases, the thermostat kicks on, goes into the down the power line just plugs in and then the blower comes on. The tropical greenhouse here at City College has, uh, does not have an automatic vent opening system. So that we've got this manual chain and as the temperature increases, we pull on the chain and that, you can hear the squeaking of the vent and the 
arms are pushing up again. So that's how this overhead vent operates. So it's very important as the temperature rises to open these vents. If you don't, then the greenhouse will, will get way too hot and cause damage to the plants. The secondary venting system here is on the side walls and this has a little circular crank and this opens the side vents which allow fresh air to come in through the side and the hot air going out the top so you have good good airflow. This combined with the convection tubing will maintain a nice even temperature in this, uh, this top tropical greenhouse which during the daytime will be 85 and at nighttime the heating system comes on and it will maintain a 65 degree minimum night temperature. Okay, the heating system for the greenhouses in City College is run on a boiler and it's a hot water system as opposed to steam and uh, the hot water comes from the boiler into these pipes and then these these fins just create more surface area the, the, hot, the pipe heats up, these fins heat up and radiate the heat off and that is distributed throughout the perimeter of the greenhouse. The lower pipes here, these are the return lines. So as the hot water flows through the pipes, through the fins, <coughs> and then goes back in these return lines to the boiler, so you have a, a circu closed circulation system um, and that improves the efficiency uh, of the, the heating system for the greenhouse. Again, this is hot water and not steam, so I can put my hands on the pipes and it will be, it'll be warm to hot, but not scalding hot like a steam line. A steam line, you would not be able to touch the pipes. Okay, Thomas, we're here in the, the boiler room of uh, City College where the, this is the boiler that supplies the heat for all the greenhouses, for the three greenhouses. And this is the, the boiler itself, and it's uh, 1.25 million BTUs. That's the, uh, the amount of heat that it will generate. Uh, by comparison, the, the heater that we looked at at my nursery was 175,000. It's a, like a giant hot water heater. And it, it heats the water. The, uh, these are the hot water pipes. And these are the three pipes going in the three different greenhouses. These pumps will force the hot water through the pipes into the greenhouse. It's circulated through and then comes back into the boiler to heat it up again. So and this is the, the exhaust or the flue just like we saw on my heater, and uh, much like the heater at my nursery, 20% of the energy going into the unit goes out the flue. So it's an 80% efficient unit. So it's a much more complicated system. There's a lot more of an investment in the, uh, the basic machinery, pressure valves, so it's, uh, there's a lot of maintenance, ongoing maintenance that needs to be done uh, routinely with, with this thermometer. Give you that idea of the temperature. The temperature of the water going through the pipes is roughly 140 degrees. And I mentioned in my, my article about the greenhouse that I used to work at, the nursery I worked, uh, they had three large boilers that were roughly, I would say, ten times this size. So uh, they would fill this entire room and then extend probably another four or five feet. So it, uh, but they were heating, instead of heating 7,500 square feet, uh, they were heating over a million square feet. So they required much greater bigger boilers, bigger pipes, the whole thing was on a 